Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the variables in Crystal Report for Enterprise. So, a variable is used to assign the values to an object unlike constant which is fixed. So, when we assign a value to a variable, it maintains that value till you assign a new value to it. So, before using the variables, it is necessary to define them in the report. And when you declare a variable in the crystal report, you need to assign a name to it. However, the name shouldn't be same as any or other existing function, operator or any other inbuilt object of the crystal report. My variable can be a number, string, date, boolean, range or an array. So let's see in the report how we can define the variable in my crystal report. So if I want to define a variable, I have to go to the formulas here. So let's say if I go into any of the existing formula. So basically I can create the variable and I can use them in the formulas. So my variables, they will be used into my formulas mainly. So if I want to define the variable, what I will do is I have to write down, let's say local string where and then I can write down customer underscore name so I will just remove this one yeah so here the keyword for declaring the variable has where so I can see here that I have used this var at the end and it is true for all the variable types so we can assign an initial value to a variable with the declaration like let's say if I want to assign a value to it. So here I have declared the customer name. Now if I want to give any value to it, I can simply write down customer name is equal to might be I can give Neha. So this is how you can define the names, you can give the names to the variable. So what else we can do with the variables? So to use the variables in the formulas, we have to define the scope of it. So let's say if I want to define the scope of the variable, so there are the three different types of scope. We have local, we have global and we have shared. So the local variables, the local variables, they are declared using the local keyword followed by the type and followed by the name as in this example. So here I have given local, then I have given the type and then I have given the name of it. Let me remove this one. Why it is giving error is because this is not complete formula. If you use it properly with the complete formula, it will not give any error. After that, the local variables, they are restricted to a single formula. It means that you cannot access the value of a local variable in one formula from a different formula. So the scope of the local variable will be within the single formula itself. After that, we have the lo global variables. So the global variables, they are used throughout the main report. Their value is available to all the formulas that declare the variable except for those which are in the sub reports. So how I can define the global variable is I can simply remove this local with the global keyword. And here I just give string. So here I have define the global variable. So my global variable will start with the global keyword and it is recommended that you use the global variable only when the local variables cannot be used. So since the global variables they share their values throughout the main report, we cannot declare the global variable in one formula with one type and then declare a global variable with the same name in a different formula with a different type. So this we cannot do. So it has to be declared only once in a report and then we can use it throughout the report. 
Then we have the shared variables. So the shared variables, they are used throughout the main report and also with the sub reports. So the shared variables, they are more general than my global variables. So how we can declare the shared variables? So here we have to write down shared keyword instead of my global keyword. So if I write down the shared keyword, so it means that this is my shared variable and it can be used in my reports as well in my sub report. So my local variable is local to my formula. My global variable is shared throughout my main report and then the shared variable is shared through my throughout my main report as well as all the sub reports in my main report. So in this tutorial we have seen how we can declare and use the variable, what are the different types of variables we have and what is the difference. Thank you.